What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Pete Does Voices, day number 33. Eh, eh. It was a little weird, a little inappropriate, but how are you doing? I hope you guys are doing all right. If this is your first time joining us, don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you get all of our videos sent straight to you. I don't know why I'm saying all of our, it's just mine, so my videos. And of course, very, very important job for you is to rate this video accordingly. Thumbs up if you think I nailed it, thumbs down if you think it sucked, simple as that. So we are continuing with the Home Alone impressions. Um, and what I'm gonna be doing here is yesterday we did Kevin McAllister, naturally. So uh, today is gonna be Harry, tomorrow is gonna be Marv. Now I'm gonna be reading some quotes as Harry um, and Marv together. So it's kind of like a Joe Pesci, Harry and Marv thing kind of today and tomorrow, but let's just go with it. Anyway, let's jump into this. So, <laughs> so uh, this is when Harry and Marv get up to the door and Kevin is on the other side in the kitchen with the little uh, BB gun and he's trying to negotiate Kevin to let him in. <clears throat> Merry Christmas, little fella. We know that you're in there and that you're all alone. Yeah, come on, kid. Open up. It's Santa Claus and his elf. <laughs> We're not going to hurt you. Oh, no, no, no. Got some nice presents for you. Be a good little fella now and open the door. <laughs> oh! What? What? What happened? Get the little... Get the little... So that's that little scene. And then, uh... <laughs> Where'd he go? Maybe he committed suicide. I'm over here, you big horse's ass. Come and get me before I call the police. <laughs> Kids are scared of the dark. You're afraid of the dark too, Marv. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You are so. Not, not, not. God, I love this movie. Uh, out the window? I'm not going out the window. What, are you scared, Marv? Are you afraid? Come on, get out here. Oh, oh. Let's go back. Let's go back, Harry. Shut up, Marv. Hey, guys. Check this out. <laughs> oh, go back. Go back. Oh, good. And then he cuts the thing, like, and then he cuts the rope, and they go and crash into the house. Anyway, also, you got some Harry, Joe Pesci stuff where he's like, Suck the fuck it, suck the fuck it, suck the fuck it, suck the fuck Like, because Joe Pesci is known for cursing, like, up a storm in every movie. Goodfellas, Casino, Raging Bull. <laughs> this was one of the only movies that was, like, a family movie where he had to behave himself, and then he couldn't curse. I think it was just so much funnier that Harry couldn't curse. And then he would just make, like, the mumbling, like, Sussa frickin' finger frickin' It was so good. So good. So clutch. But anyway, I had a lot of fun doing this impression today. What did you guys think? Rate it accordingly. Thumbs up if you think I did a great job. Thumbs down if you think it sucked. Please subscribe. Turn notifications on. Make a request in the comment section of a, um, of, of a impression you'd like me to do. And if I do it, I'll shout you out. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Tomorrow... We will see you again here, and we're going to do more of the Marv impressions on day number 34 here on the, on the, excuse me, on Pete Does Voices. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care of yourselves, and happy holidays.